I'm gonna apply a couple of parallel buses here to the drums. Uh, I have a couple rules about drums and parallel buses. The 33609 sounds really great, kind of on everything. So I'm gonna apply the kick drum, I'm gonna apply the snare drum, both toms, and the overheads. I'm not gonna do the, the 33609s on the room mic, I'm not gonna do it on the front mic, I'm not gonna do it on the taste mic, or the mono. The mono bus is just the mono bus, so we'll get to that here in a minute. It just is what it is, it's done, it's baked, it's done. So give me one second here. My gain structure is set up, because I've been kind of doing this a while, so that uh, what I want is, I want the, the 33609 to do about 4 dB of compression. And I believe, at the moment, that's what it's doing. So we're going to take a look here, I'm going to hit play, and we're going to see if that's in fact what it's doing. And that's exactly what it's doing, about 4 dB. So now let me put that into the mix and see what we get. The cool thing about the Neve is it sort of sharpens all the attack a little bit. I don't know how it does it, but it does it. The settings on the 33609 are threshold at zero, recovery at 100 milliseconds, gain at zero, and three to one. The limiter side I actually have on. Uh, I think I have the threshold all the way up and the recovery time at 100. So I think that's at plus 14, I think is what the threshold is. The UAD version of this reacts exactly the same. It's fantastic. So that's the setting. Strangely, the setting for the guitars 33609 is identical. We'll get to that in a minute. So let's talk about the fat so. So this is my drum crush bus. The drum crush bus came about on accident. It came about when I was mixing in the box. I had my Fatso on my stereo mix bus. I was cycling through the settings so that it was just some drums were playing, but it was just a drum track was playing. I just had it going, just some drums. That was it. I just had the drums up in my mix and I was cycling through to get back to the basically the uh, bus compressor setting, and I hit the all spank, and somehow something happened. I just thought, wow, that is awesome. Whatever's happening there is awesome. So then I tried to figure out, okay, now how do I get this in my mix? So I printed it, and then I slid it around and got it, you know, it was a complete pain in the ass. And then UAD, or UA, sort of solved that for me by coming up with the UAD Fatso. So I'm gonna send on this mix, just the kick, just the snare. That's it. Sometimes I do the toms, but this time I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the toms on this. I think they're, they're fine as they are. So just the kick, just the snare to the drum crush bus. So let me turn these on for you. These are in buses three and four. All right. I'm going to cut the rest of the band here and we'll just listen to just the drums from the downbeat. Okay, cool. Let's AFL, put a console on AFL and let's listen to just the 33609. So that's just the 33609. Now, just the Fatso. Notice how long everything is, how fat and, you know, screwed up it is. All right, cool. Also notice there's a bunch of symbols and things like that. That's why I don't put the overheads or, or, Tom mics that have leakage or the room mics or any of that stuff in it. <laughs> 